Rob, we're here in Rotterdam. First of all, is there more pressure on you as chef to keep to jump in front of your home crowd? Normally, yes. I think that's for all the coaches in their own country. Is always on the home turf. Is always more a pressure from the audience, from the press, from 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 the federation, from uh, from everybody. But I um, try to to put that aside. And uh, for me, it's just a normal show. Is it easier for you then to compete at a show that is not in your home nation? Normally, yes, because uh, when you are in your own country everybody is, expects that that it has to go good it's now my 10th year uh, as a coach from the Dutch team and I never succeeded in, in Rotterdam so uh, I start to to, to, uh, to be here in a, a blank not thinking too much and uh, just write and, and 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 see what happens it's the only thing what we can do now the Nations Cup the furious year FBI Nations Cup was taken to a new level last year with increased money and a fantastic final this is an important competition for you now or even more so yeah for sure it's it's uh, there are so many uh, really top 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 events and they, every every year they're coming more so for us it's really important uh, especially because we really like the, the nations cup it, it's 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 something what is in in our heart and happily enough also in the heart of my my riders because i never have any problems to get the riders uh, to the shows to 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 to, to go for the, for for the, for the country but it's getting every time more difficult because there's a quantity, big quantity of, of, of shows. So we have to um, yeah, stay up with all the competition of the rest and, and, and see that we can, can make every time our league better and better and better. Actually, that's an interesting point about the riders because I think you've used in the first four rounds 12 different riders. So you have a big pool of riders to call on. Yeah, that is also a, a thing what is more positive now, that in, in the past we had eight shows and eight shows were counting uh, to get in and in, in, into, uh, to stay into the league. But now we only have four and um, my main target is then to get as many as possible invitations for, for the, the other uh, first division uh, shows uh, that I can put in some new riders. That's a good opportunity to let uh, new riders get in. On the highest level, uh, the riders high on the ranking, they have always an opportunity to go to the big shows. We have to make sure that, um, that the small group is not staying a small group, but that we can uh, make the group larger, that we can give some the, the, the talented riders uh, more chances to get into that level and to get used to it. Oh, which has also proved quite successful for you, uh, as you say, in building your teams over the last few years. But it's obviously this weekend, it's your second of the four qualifying rounds. It's in Rotterdam. It's not gone unnoticed that you've got four big guns here this weekend, haven't you? Yeah, it's 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 it for good riders and but also like the horse from Jeroen Dubbeldam is uh, Zenit SFN is, is a new horse. He was Rome for the first time in in the Nations Cup. Um, Harry Small with Emerald uh, was only last year once in Aachen and, and after that it is, it's it's a stallion. He was out of competition for a longer time, and I have to uh, put him in here to see how it's going to be and to find in the end the good guns for the world championships uh, but still uh, also when it is in your own country you have to do the things you want to do but 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 the plan what i had and i have to stick with that and see what sure. what comes out sure. in 10 years as chef to keep of the dutch team the have you you've seen only improvements in the sport haven't you yeah, I think yes. If if I look back ten years ago, it was completely different, and I think that is also important that we keep on improving things and and improving the sport. The only thing what is a bit of a big concern, in my opinion, is that uh, it's 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 getting over full of shows, and and uh, that is also for the really good riders uh, who have at the moment a couple of really good horses. It, it, it also has a big negative side, because if you don't put a really good management into that, then uh, you do quickly too much. And that was in, 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 in the earlier years, we always had a couple of months that you had a little bit of break, that you could give the horse a little bit of time off. Um, normally, we try to find a way, as also in my way of, of, of uh, being there as a coach, um, 
years and years ago it was always that when you took a time out you had to come back and you had to show yourself first uh, prove that you were back in the system again that it was going um, I skipped that already uh, eight years ago that somebody wants a time out he can get it and he doesn't have to do many shows to get back on the level anymore uh, that's the thing what I do and what I think it's, it's a good thing to do um, that's important that that you can take a time out without having an injury and that's really important. But what I just said, um, the amount of shows can be also really difficult. Well, you've got three of the team you had in Rome where you finished second this afternoon. Um, as you say, a superb team, but a lot of competition. And so it's going to be tough. It's always tough. You can you can see that uh, you always have a show that you have the your, your f for the moment, in my opinion, the, the the best combinations. But if they have all four, one unlucky touch on a pole, you have four times four, and then twelve stands there. And in uh, our competition, it's only the clear rounds what count, and uh, that's what we hope also in the afternoon. But that is the good thing in our sport. That can happen to all the countries and also when you have a, a team what maybe is on paper uh, already won when they are a little bit unlucky you, you finish uh, six seven eight the competition is really good it's overall competition is more open and more wide and that makes the sport even better great for viewing well we hope that your home crowd are cheering you on this afternoon and you'll be standing on that top podium which I know has eluded you here over the last few years okay thank you we will do our best Thank you very much, Rob. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.